So if you're considering to settle down in China, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two foreigner friendly websites on how to find a job in China legally and safely, coming up. Now in these examples, I'm not gonna be focusing on getting an English teaching job because I promise you, if you join any foreigner WeChat group that has a lot of foreigners in it and maybe some Chinese people, you're gonna find ads about finding English teaching jobs in all cities of China. It's gonna happen. Just be careful though when accepting those because some of them may lie to you about the visa process. If you don't know and you're not familiar with the work visa process, go ahead and refer and watch this video here at a later time or you can look in the description down below and I go through step by step on how to get a work visa in China so that you are protected and you don't think anything sketchy is going on. So the two foreigner friendly sites I'm gonna talk about about getting a job in China are eChina Cities and LinkedIn. Everyone knows LinkedIn and you should definitely have a LinkedIn account if you work in any professional field anywhere throughout the world. Now what I recommend you need before you even start applying for a job in China is a Chinese phone number so that you can be reachable a WeChat account because everyone and their mama here communicates using WeChat so it's very easy for the employer to communicate with you in China. A CV, a standard CV or resume for the job you want to apply to and a bachelor's degree. Unfortunately, it is very hard if not illegal to work here as a foreigner in China without a bachelor's degree. It may be legal but it's incredibly hard you need to have like a special skill that's not offered without a bachelor's degree. And in this example I'm going to be walking you through finding a job in Guangzhou as a marketing manager. Okay so for eCities I first recommend you register and put all your admin information in. If, you, if possible put your Chinese phone number and your WeChat information as I mentioned before because that's very easy to contact. After you made an account go to the search bar and narrow down the cities that you want to apply for a job. In this case, I'm gonna to go to Guangzhou. In the search bar, you can search the kind of job you want. So I'm gonna put marketing manager. As you can see, without me even finishing the search, you can see a bunch of English teaching jobs. They're all here. <laughs> if you're finding an English teaching job, easily find that. But again, in my example, I'm doing marketing manager. So you click search and you can see the different options. You can click one that satisfies your needs and expertise. And you can see like different salary ranges here. And you can see the, the different job titles and descriptions, and you can look through and check out the company itself as well. Now, once you find a job title and description that suits you, then you can go ahead and start the application. Typically, you have to fill in additional admin information, like what you, what you want your salary, et cetera. And in some applications, you may not need to submit a resume or CV, but I recommend you to actually put in your CV and resume whenever possible, if there's an attachment available, and your WeChat information. Again, make sure this information is easily accessible. Whether it's in your CV or your resume, make sure you let them know your contact information in your WeChat. The next platform is LinkedIn. As I mentioned before, everybody knows what LinkedIn is. However, I recommend that you create a profile if you haven't yet and put all your work experience and your certifications and all that in your account beforehand. I also recommend that you connect to a Chinese network so that it can easily filter the locations that you're interested in finding a job in China. So you simply click on jobs and after you click on jobs, you can select a specific area. I'm gonna choose Guangzhou, Guangdong. And then in the search bar, I'm gonna select marketing manager. You can see there's many options for marketing manager. You just scroll through the ones you want. And you can also see more world-renowned companies that are offering a job position here. Whereas the eChina platform kind of deals with Chinese companies that want to have an international footprint. LinkedIn is more like international companies that want to penetrate the Chinese market. Now that being said about penetrating the Chinese markets and big companies, expect Chinese to be a requirement here. Being able to speak it, read it, and maybe even write it. Maybe not handwrite, but at least use like pinyin to go ahead and type something in Chinese. And the reason I say this is because if you're working in the Chinese market, you must be able to communicate with the locals here. So for the big positions and the big companies that maybe are director positions or maybe a little lower than that, expect there to be some fine print in the bottom and the requirements that says must be able to read, speak, and write Mandarin. Now some tips I want to share with you about finding a job in China. The first one is make sure you're reachable. Like I mentioned, and I'm harping this, I have a Chinese phone number and a WeChat account that they can easily contact you with. If you do get past the applying via online using resumes and you get to the interview, consider this kind of mindset when you actually get to the interview. What can you provide that Chinese locals can't provide? 
Because if a Chinese local can provide your expertise and skills, then they might as well hire a local Chinese that can just do your job. So you really have to articulate what can you provide on the table so that they can have a justification to convince the government of sponsoring you for a work visa in that company. As I mentioned before, knowing Chinese is a huge advantage when it comes to non-English teaching job. If you just want to find an English teaching job, then you don't need learning Chinese. You just need to have a bachelor's degree, maybe a couple years of experience. If you haven't seen it yet, consider watching my video about having the five reasons of why you should speak Chinese as a foreign expat living in China. In there, I clearly articulate why it's so important to learn Chinese when living. Another piece of advice is check out the company that's offering a job via social media and make sure they're a legit company either in China trying to expand overseas or overseas trying to penetrate the Chinese market. Another tip is to try and consider meeting with people that already work in that company. It's actually pretty easy to do this on LinkedIn. You can just look for different kinds of people that work in a marketing position on LinkedIn and request a connection. Now don't go all stalker mode here. Just try and open a conversation first digitally, like get a conversation back and forth. Hey, I'm considering I'm applying for a job here, there's something I may be interested in. And then maybe you can ask them out for a coffee, for a lunch to talk about how the company culture is and ultimately get them to hand your CV in to the HR department directly because it's easier to land an interview if a human being sees your resume versus trying to beat the algorithm of getting your resume seen by a human being. So it doesn't hurt to reach out, but like I said, don't be like a stalker. Just do it in a common sense manner. If you haven't landed or started living in China yet, but want to work in China, consider doing a remote interview. So I know plenty of companies that do Skype interviews, WeChat interviews remotely so that they can go ahead and know on the spot, okay, you're good for the job, we'll hire you. Not only will this make your life easier in getting a work visa because you must go to your home country to finish out the work visa process, so you might as well just get it all done at your home country and it can also give you ease of mind that you're not going to be employed illegally. As I mentioned, working legally here is a real deal. If you're caught working legally here, you will get deported, period. If someone knows that you're working legally and they report you to the police or the police spot checks your passport and they find out you're working here legally, deported, period. So I hope you learned something from this video and I wish you luck on your job search in China. Don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos about having a better lifestyle in China as a foreigner. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification when you subscribe so that you can get notified of when I upload videos every weekend. Anyways, thank you for watching, keep surviving, and I'll catch you in the next one.